it's Sarah and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be vlogging my trip to Portugal which I am super excited about. If you saw my last video you saw that we were getting ready to leave and today is the day we are finally leaving. It's Sunday and it's currently 6 p.m. We are heading to the airport now. Our flight leaves at like 9 30 so getting there like roughly three hours in advance. I think we start boarding at 8 30. But yeah super excited for this trip. We are flying into Lisbon. We are spending a couple days there and then going north to Porto and then south to the Algarve. So total we're going to be there for around like 12 days. So it was a super nice and long trip, which we were super excited about. I'm going with my boyfriend Derek, which you guys will see more in the vlogs. And yeah, my first trip literally in two and a half years. So super excited to be back on the vlogs for you guys. I know it's not a cruise vlog, but something different. It's a little travel vlog. And yeah, enough with the rambling. I need to get going to the airport because we're going to be late and everyone's getting into the car. And I will see you guys on this adventure. <laughs> literally like five minutes long which like the online wait time said but we weren't sure if that was like real so now it's like seven o'clock we have an hour and a half until our flight boards so just heading to our gate and gonna relax for a bit through security as you saw and we're just waiting in like our terminal we're on like the complete opposite end here um but i think we may go get a drink or something to start to a drink to wait <laughs> to start the trip so there's like a little bar here there was like a wine tasting place like at the other side of the terminal but we walked like a kilometer and a half to get here so we are not walking all the way back but yeah just waiting for our flight the way you're moving the way you should Everybody's watching you, I wanna make you mine I, The way you're looking, the way you smell It's like you put a spell in me We're on the plane now and we're all ready to be boarded It's 9.09 so we have to just wait a little bit before the plane leaves But we're heading to Portugal, yay! Lisbon, where the local time is 9.49. later and we just dropped off our luggage at like some luggage like storage place it's just like in the back of like a restaurant and now we're going to go look for food because we haven't eaten food yet some we coffee and some coffee we're tired i think i slept more on the plane than you did but yeah so like the streets are very cobblestony and we're climbing up these hilly streets with our luggage definitely not meant for that but now that we've gotten rid of it we can go and explore more without that and it's cloudy but it stopped raining so everything seems good It's called like Praça de Comercio, I think. It's this large square. And then like the castle of St. George is kind of there behind us. We decided we're gonna do a walking tour in a couple hours just to kind of like get our bearings because we don't know exactly where we are. Kind of got an idea on the map, but we kind of want to get some more info. So I think our Airbnb is gonna be ready in like an hour. We'll go pick up our luggage and then go there. But yeah, 
it's turned out to be warmer than we thought. We're like under a cloud right now, but it got sunny and whatnot. So as long as it's not raining, I'm happy. So we've arrived at the Airbnb. It took us quite a while to figure out exactly where it was. We had to walk up a couple hills, but now we're here and I'll give you guys a little tour. So we have the front door here. And then as you walk into here, there is the bathroom. And there's me. Then we have the bedroom. I'll go in there in a second. And then the living room area, as you can see, we just kind of like put our stuff there. Chair. And then we have like a full kitchen, which is nice. And then the fridge is here. Yeah, there's like the mirror at the back, super cute. And then we have like our little balcony door type situation that looks out onto the street. So it's like this. Not all the way down. Super cute. And then here is the bedroom, which also has like a window connecting out. And then this little like study area den, which we've put our suitcases. And I'll show you this little area here. I don't know if we can open it, but it just looks like this. Same view out onto the street. So yeah, I think we're just going to kind of chill out for a second, kind of get situated, and then we have a walking tour in an hour that's I think close by, hopefully. Lisbon is so hilly, it's something I didn't even realize. Um, so we've been walking up quite a few hills. But yeah, just gonna kind of get situated and then head for that walking tour to just kind of like get our bearings around because I feel like I kind of know where we are but also don't really know and we want to like make sure that we're being able to hit all of the main sightseeing points. So yeah, we're going to do that. Maybe get some food and yeah, that'll be the rest of our day. Just finished with the walking tour. I think it was around like three and a half hours. It was yeah, like just over three hours. quite long. They like quoted two and a half to three, but we saw a lot more things. It was more of like a local tour, so we didn't necessarily see all of like the tourist attractions, but we're gonna do like the tram 28 tour, which is like their most popular tram to like see all those. So we saw like the more like local side of things, which was nice. We ended up high up like near the castle of St. George. We didn't actually go up to there, so we'll probably come back either tomorrow or the next day to do that. But now we're just at a lookout point to look out. It's still kind of gloomy. It's been all gloomy most of the day today, but on and off raining, but at least it hasn't poured. So that was what it was originally calling for. But now I think we're going to go and eat food. You hungry? Get some dinner. We're starving. First meal in Portugal. Have we not eaten in Portugal? No, we didn't. And then some coffee. Yeah, we saw actual food in Portugal. Craziness. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go find that, I think back in like the area that we were in previously, which I don't know the, all the names of the areas yet, but closer to where we were, where our Airbnb is, because we're quite far now. I think it's gonna be like at least a half hour walk to where we need to be. So yeah, heading there now. We are still in the similar area where we just ate. We're looking for some, I don't even know what we're looking for. Sorbet, gelato, I don't know the term of it, but yeah, it's like, pretty lively for like a Monday night. Everyone's just like walking around. There's all like a bunch of like the little like restaurants in the middle. But yeah, we're gonna just hopefully find, we want like a chocolate raspberry mix, but we have to find one that's vegan for me. So looking around to see what we can find. and it's around like 11 o'clock. I think we're probably gonna get ready to head to bed. We've had like a very long day and just pretty tired with the jet lag and whatnot. But yeah, we came home and like it looks so cute because like the, there was like a light outside our like balcony. It just like looks wholesome and cute. I don't know, I like the, the vibes of it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the first day in Lisbon. I don't know exactly how I'm going to group these vlogs. I think I'm gonna probably do like two per video type thing. So there might be another vlog starting in the second here. Don't know exactly until I go and edit them. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.